Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the App Podcast, and today we're going to take a look at Routine Timer. Now, this is a pretty cool timer. It is completely customizable. It comes with some uh, built-in favorite routines, and then you can go search by category. And, of course, you could even create your own routine from scratch. So let's take a look at circuit training. So say you're at the gym, and uh, you really want to keep your heart rate going. Um, you want to make sure you get in a good workout and uh, you can set some timers here to kind of make sure that you keep going um, and don't slow down. So you, what's set up here is a two minute warm up, a 30 second bench press, a 30 second rest, and then a 30 second shoulder press. And so um, with those built in, you'd hit start and it would start doing your countdown for your warm up. And so uh, the warm up could be whatever, you know, uh, jumping jacks or something like that or the jump rope and then um, you'll get a vibrate tone and if you have the sound turned on you'll also hear a noise and then it will instruct you to go on to the next one and then the next one and then you're done and of course you can edit this and set up as much stuff as you want to almost do your entire uh, workout with timers if you would like which um, it's good to keep your heart rate up as you're working out um, even during the time of rest, keeping your heart rate up is important. So you can always skip ahead to the next one by just hitting next. Um, one of the neat things is if you go back here into the menu, uh, the routine keeps going. So not that uh, you could be working out and messing around with those categories, but uh, you can go back in there and it does remember um, you know the time so that's pretty neat so we've got a couple more seconds here left and it's going to vibrate and make a drum sound I don't know if you heard that very well um, so anyhow I'm gonna hit stop on this one we have an info tab here uh, that takes us into setting up and editing all of these as you can see we've got a ton of them in here uh, in this setup so um, as we're going through our training, it's going to go through all of these and we go into run and it's just going to count right through them and just show four of them at a time. So as, as it goes past number four here, see it just starts to count down further into these. So you can really set up one heck of a routine. Um, you've got actions that you can define uh, so each time it goes to the next one, you can tell it to uh, uh, kind of give you a warning um, or you have to hit the next button to go to the next timer routine. Um, and then, of course, there's actions on the end as well, um, a sound effect or a vibrate for both of those or the confirmation that I was just talking about. Um, show in your favorites list and then pause on interrupt. Uh, on or off. So lots of settings here. To edit these simply just go up, change the title, you can make a note, put in the time, and then on step end you'd use set defaults uh, for this section that you have set up down here at the bottom, these defaults on step end. So pretty neat. Um, you can use it as a board game timer for meditation. Uh, you could use it for anything. Anything that involves a timer, this is a good app for that. And especially if there's multiple steps, then that's good as well. If you're playing a game, you know, like a board game, for example, uh, that typically has like a little hourglass timer, this could be a better option or like a hot potato type game or something like that. Um, this would be a better option because you could set up the multiple players in here, hit start, and keep the game going fast without all the pauses in between because now you don't have to wait for somebody to turn over the hourglass. You just keep going. So, routine timer. This is really cool. You could delete them here, reorder them, And then adding a new one, of course, you get a blank slate right here. And you have your sound adjustment down there. I didn't mention that earlier. Um, and then, of course, you can add them all to categories and create additional categories as well. So this is the most intense timer that I have found so far. And I recommend it for pretty much anything um, that involves a timer or that you need a timer for. 
As a matter of fact, I'm going to use it today at a business meeting that I'm going to be at because there are many things that need to be timed and it will make it really nice to just set this timer and let it go for the entire time instead of having to start, stop, and reset timers. So this is a good app and I'm going to put it to use today. I hope you also find a way to put it to use because this is a really good timer. So check it out in the App Store. It's pretty inexpensive and uh, come by our website, theapppodcast.com. Leave your thoughts and comments and reviews underneath the video. And don't forget to give it a star rating of one through five when you stop by the website as well. Take care and we'll see you next time.